Three, two, one, go. All right, so it's all about simple shapes, as you can see here. Very simple character. And that's something that I've been really trying to do a lot lately is practice being very minimalistic, very simple. A lot of times, the more simple the character is, the, the better it will look. More simple the shapes are, the better it will look. Um, especially these plates on the back. I didn't want to spend all day doing these plates. So I wanted to really figure out a way to minimize the time spent on them. I thought Curve was going to be my best friend, but Curve was actually a mortal enemy. It was really annoying because I was trying to adjust them and then the whole thing would adjust. But it wouldn't just adjust the fins, it would also adjust the width and everything else. So I wound up just doing one side just sculpting one side all the fins exactly the way I wanted them and then I would just mirror them to the other side and then I can make adjust adjustments like this so that was really easy here I'm using the inflate tool to do the fingers and I love these little character fingers I just think they're really cute and really easy using the inflate tool inflate is one of my favorite tools I love making little skin folds like that it's just small details but they make uh, a world of difference the nails too just kind of squeeze together spheres uh, very simple, but again, they just look very good. And of course, I put in some skin folds. It's kind of like my my salt on my creations. It just kind of gives them some flavor. And this is actually the front the front plate I just did with another sphere and just kind of pushed it out. And the reason I do that is because then I can just color it a different color very easily. And I can adjust it without dealing with the main body. So here inflate tool again, I'm just doing some nostrils uh, and the same thing uh, I'm going to do around this eye. His eyes are closed, so I'm just using the tube tool here with the with the profile, which is making it kind of squarish. I just like the way the eyes look like that. And then I'm just using the inflate tool to make the imprint of like the eye underneath the skin and then just using crease to kind of clean that up. And here teeth, you've seen me do my teeth all the time. Teeth are a treat. Uh, the only time it can get annoying if, if something isn't symmetrical, like I think the gums weren't symmetrical. But uh, also you can watch the video if you want to see how I do this texture. This is essentially just a texture alpha that I've downloaded. And then I just use brush and it kind of brushes on as long as your 3D mesh is fairly high res. Of course I had to give him some uh, toe beans. I don't think Godzilla actually has toe beans, but you know, that's the beauty of making things you know any way that you want to you can change things you can just kind of do whatever you want uh, lighting again is also always really really fun i tend to light with post process on because that way you can see an accurate depiction of what your sculpt is going to look like what the render is going to look like uh, so here's the render but of course you know me this is this is still the nomad i just changed the colors so this is nomad and then of course i had to bring it over into blender to give it the real uh, once over and I love just playing with the colors and changing things up and I can I can literally spend hours just messing with colors and messing with the lights and there's so much you can do there so it's just nice to bring it over and bring it to that next level but I think that's about it I appreciate you guys watching the tutorial will be out tomorrow so keep your eyes open for that I'm also going to try to do some more lives too so uh, oh and last but not least I wanted to tell you that I am uploading I think I uploaded this Godzilla STL and some other STLs. I'm uploading them all to Patreon. It's gonna take me a while to get a bunch up there, but I'm just gonna start uploading a bunch of stuff to Patreon because why not? A lot of people want the STLs and things like that. If you want the files and stuff, just let me know. I'm gonna put everything on my Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you wanna go more in depth, then definitely check out my Skillshare classes where I am a top teacher. I have about 50 classes, both Procreate and Nomad Sculpt. I also have a few classes on Udemy, so if you want to learn more or you just like my style, you like the way I teach, you want to support me, those are some other places that you can do it. Thanks again. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.